and thank you for joining us. I'm Ellie Pai Hong, and this is Comcast Newsmakers. This hour's newsmaker is Gerald Bennett, chairman of the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning, or CMAP for short. Today, we will be talking about that agency. It is great to have you here. Thanks, Ellie. You are also mayor of Palos Hill, so I will refer to you as mayor if that's okay. That's fine, or Jerry's good too. So. Okay. Well, let's talk about CMAP and what the function of this agency is. CMAP, uh, about five years ago, we were looking at how to uh, get greater efficiency out of the transportation agencies in the metropolitan area. They're looking at merging things like PACE with CTA, uh, Metro with uh, PACE. And one, two other agencies that have some time has been the old Northeast Illinois Planning Commission was formed about 50 years ago in the Chicago Area Transportation Study, which is basically a group of mayors who uh, were the ones who distributed the federal dollars, transportation dollars, throughout the Metropolitan Agency. So to make it real short and quick, uh, we went for the General Assembly. Pa legislation was passed unanimously to create CMAP, which is the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning, which now takes in land planning and transportation all under one roof. Which makes sense. Yes, it does. Uh, if we're going to, uh, to plan our future for the next uh, 100 years, it only makes sense to not only, if you're dealing with transportation, to, to take a look at land planning that's all around transportation. So uh, with that, we began uh, five years ago formed the organization, which took a year or two to get that whole thing organized. Uh, it's made up of about 15 members, five from Chicago, five from the suburbs, five from the county. And together, uh, we meet once a month to take a look at uh, or, or to set out for a plan for the future. And last October, uh, re we released a plan called Go 224, which is kind of the new burn -up plan for the metro area for the mm -hmm. next uh, 40 years. So what is your plan for 2040? I know by then we will have to service 25% more people than we do today. So I'm sure there's a huge scope in terms of what that vision looks like. Oh, absolutely. It's I mean, incredible, the undertaking of that plan. And, and probably more importantly, how do we implement it? And basically it talks about sustainability. How are we going to all live together over the next uh, 40 to 50 years? So we delve into areas like human capital, uh, governance, uh, ser uh, sharing services, mm -hmm. uh, besides the issues of land planning, better planning of communities, and how do we spend our transportation dollars and spread it throughout the metropolitan area when those federal dollars are shrinking right. and the state match is also shrinking. So it's, it's quite a task, uh, but we've already begun uh, the implementation of that plan. We're very excited about it. So what does that plan look like? What does this area look like by 2040? Well, I think people would be surprised that the metropolitan area, as you had indicated, you know, could increase by you know, over the next 40 years by almost 3 million people. And where you get those people? Where are they going to live? How, how are they going to go uh, about their their duties, whether it's to work or to play or to move I around can, the I area? Can't just imagine the traffic involved. It, it, absolutely, <laughs> uh, but more so, it's the placement of those people. And I, I think in the plan, what we really talk about again is sustainability of a community. How are you going to go about in the future in planning your community? And, and we encourage things like multi-use, infill. Uh, redevelopment and uh, urban sprawl, you're not going to see it the way you used to see it in this area. Uh, then how will we see it? Well, I think we're going to see it by communities, especially the communities that are pretty much developed now uh, that do still have available land. We have almost 100,000 acres in Cook County alone that are undeveloped. Uh, again, people don't realize that. Mm -hmm. And we need to look at what we have right now, the infrastructure we have right now, improvement uh, of that infrastructure. But the days of, of building uh, you know, 20 miles out to the middle of nowhere and trying to bring water and sewer and streets, it, I, it's not going to happen. We can't afford it. The communities that, uh, uh, that have that kind of open space have got to look at their downtown areas and what they have already built. And possibly new highways, numerous new highways. I, I don't think we're really looking at that. I mean, what we're going to take a look at and, and try to improve is the existing roadways. Mm -hmm. But what we need to improve are, are, are more uh, public transportation aspects of our existing infrastructure. We have a lot to invest and just rebuilding and maintaining the structures that we have now. But with that, if we can expand the existing public transportation, suburban to suburban, or additional suburban to, uh, to the central city, which would be uh, downtown Chicago. So growth of people means growth of the economy. Yes, and growth with that comes jobs. And uh, the more jobs, you, obviously, you create. You know, we live in one of the greatest metropolitan areas in the world. Mm -hmm. And we want to make it that way and sustain it uh, that way in the future. So a positive vision for 2040. Absolutely. All right, thank you so much for coming. Thanks, in. Ellie. This hour's newsmaker has been CMAP Chairman Gerald Bennett. I'm Ellie Pai Hong. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time on Comcast Newsmakers.